Benedictine College has kicked off a year-long celebration of a century of science. But this is not just a year to look back. It is a year to look forward. 100 years ago, the college offered its first science degrees. Today, Benedictine College looks to the next century of science. We plan to build a new science and engineering building that will be second to none. It all began in 1916, when the preparation paid off, and St. Benedict's College could offer its first science degrees. The, the monks uh, sent their members to some of the best schools in the country. Fifty years later, in the mid-1960s, the new science hall showed how successful science had become. Students who took classes in that building have had an enormous impact on the world. Among them, Wangari Maathai, winner of the 2004 Nobel Peace Prize. Today, Benedictine College's unique approach offers students the ability to do graduate-style research and present their findings. The, the process of science is asking questions and making testable hypotheses about those questions about the natural world. I don't know of any other school our size that's doing this extensive of an engineering program. Uh, back in the 2009-2010 school year, we had only four students, and this past fall we had 175 engineering students. Benedictine College's world-class faculty is impacting the world through important research in esophageal cancer, tracing the history of the galaxy through the oxygen in stars, and patented research in getting jet fuel from soybeans and fighting drug-resistant superbugs. I've invented a technology that allows us to booby-trap antibiotics such that when bacteria try to um, break them down, they sort of counterpunch and kill the bacteria anyway. Benedictine students have had a real impact in our work developing new antibiotics. My close interaction with Dr. Sutton is probably one of the most unique experiences I've gotten at Benedictine. At large universities, most undergraduates aren't allowed to touch the instruments, but they really encourage that here. They want you to get hands-on experience. Benedictine College can offer another unique approach to the sciences, one informed by faith. Benedictine College's science mission is to be the Catholic liberal arts college that educates aspiring engineers, doctors, scientists, and healthcare professionals for the 21st century. It's time to make the facilities match the great science education that's going on in our program. Benedictine College is raising money for a $26 million Benedictine Science and Engineering Building expansion and renovation, the college's largest capital project ever. I think that once you stick these really solid programs in really good facilities, that the sciences will explode at, at Benedictine College. It is a story 100 years in the making and still not over yet. The story of science at Benedictine College starts when great faculty give focused time to great students, and it ends when ravens help the world in ways we never dreamed possible. The Century of Science at Benedictine College. Celebrating the past, preparing the future. <laughs>